Curtin Darling. Prego. Thank you, Chair. Last year, we gave several standing ovations to Dr. McQuaige, our Zakharov Prize winner, for his tireless work to treat women and children. They are the real victims of the trade in conflict minerals. McQuaige called for comprehensive and mandatory rules, and from across this House, we applauded his appeal. Today, we have followed through in our votes. Voluntary due diligence has been shown to be inadequate. A narrow focus only on smelters and refineries would only serve to undermine our EU foundation industries in the long term. We have voted for effective and mandatory rules that apply to all the key actors involved in the trade of minerals across the supply chain. I voted for the report today to show that we are willing to follow through on our applause in this uh, chamber with real action to improve human rights in conflict regions around the world. Thank you. Grazie. Mr. Dalton. Prego. Thank you, Mr. President. We all want to curtail op uh, opportunities for armed groups and break links between minerals and conflicts, but we have to do it sensibly. And unfortunately, I can't support this report because of the last minute amendment that were pushed in to impose a mandatory as opposed to a voluntary system. I support a voluntary system with mandatory